Module 4, Lesson 6, Homework. Number 1, find the value of each of the following. A, 1 third of 12. So they've driven, drawn a set of 12 here for us, and they want to know, they've already broken it into, whoops, they've already broken it into thirds. So we have one group, two groups, three groups. So this is one third, two thirds, and three thirds of 12. So one third of 12 would be four. If we had two thirds of 12, that would be two groups of it. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three thirds of 12 would be all of it. So that would be 12. B, one fourth of 20. So they've already drawn 20 and they broke it into fourths for us. So one fourth of 20 is five. Two fourths of 20 would be 10. Three fourths of 20 is 15. And four fourths of 20 is 20. Now we have 35 and it's broken into fifths. So one fifth of 35 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two fifths of 35 would be two groups of seven, which is 14. Three groups of 35 is three groups of seven, which is 21. Four groups of seven would be four fifths, and that would be 28. Five fifths would be all of it, which would be 35. So six fifths we would need to add a group of seven. And six fifths would be equal to 42. Find two thirds of 18. Draw a set to show your thinking. So they want two thirds of 18. I'm just gonna draw 18 first. And I'm gonna group it. I know that I have three and 18. And so I'm going to put them in groups of six. I know 18 divided by 3 is 6. So there's my 18. And I split them evenly into three different groups. So one third would be equal to 6. But two thirds would be equal to 12. Number three, how does knowing one-fifth of 10 help you to find three-fifths of 10? So I'm gonna draw 10. And then I'm gonna split it into group, five different groups, split it into fifths. Now, if I know one-fifth of 10, so one-fifth is equal to two, so then I can just easily find three-fifths by counting that way. Or if I know that one-fifth is two, then I could just do two times three to get three-fifths. So there's many different ways to do it. Number four, Sarah just turned 18 years old. She spent four-ninths of her life living in Rochester, New York. How many years did Sarah live in Rochester? So first I'm going to draw... 18 and then I'm going to break it into ninths so she spent four years four ninths of her life in Rochester so there's one ninth two ninths three ninths four ninths so she spent four ninths which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. Number five. A farmer collected 12 dozen eggs from her chickens. She sold five sixths of the eggs at the farmer's market and gave the rest to friends and neighbors. How many dozen eggs does the farmer give away? How many eggs does she give away? 
So first, I'm going to draw the 12 dozen eggs. Now, if she sold 5 sixths and gave the rest away, she sold, let me use red, so these are sold 5 sixths, and then she gives away this last part. So she gives away two dozen. And, and then it wants to know how many eggs that is. Well, one dozen is equal to 12 eggs. So two dozen would be two times 12 would be equal to 24 eggs. Part B, she sold each dozen for $4.50. How much did she earn from the eggs she sold? So she sold, if we go back here and count how many she sold, she sold 5 sixths, which would be 10 dozen. So 10 times 450 each, this is going back to our multiplying and dividing by powers of 10, we can just shift the, de the digits one place to the right or to the left because we're multiplying and we'll end up with $45.